Hello and welcome to Mic Drop, the It's Too Hot to Film But I'm Gonna Do It Anyway edition. Oh, look, a refreshing beverage. In one of the Loot Crate videos I mentioned that as well as signing up to Loot Crate for the last few months I've also been signed up to Flavorly, which is a craft beer subscription service. So every month you get 10 beers through in the post. I think it's a really great service, despite the most off-puttingly hipster looking magazine cover that you've ever seen. Look at it! Look at the stairs! These are the stairs of men who do not want you to get into their holiday. They would much rather that you went away now please. Which um, is pretty much the exact opposite of what I want to do with what have you videos, um, but nevertheless it is actually a very good um, way of trying out different types of beer and discovering some, uh, some good ones. Last autumn Ali and I got together and filmed two, two and a half hours of footage of us drinking through a few beers from one of the crates. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, because there's like discussion about the beers themselves, there's discussions about the wider culture, there's anecdotes of our lives and how we came across different beers and types of beer, and of course a healthy dose of random nonsense. And I mean okay I can take out the random nonsense, but even so there's a lot of stuff that would be interesting to different people in different ways and I'm not quite sure what to do with all of that wonderful footage. So I've been looking for opportunities to do smaller self-contained videos while I build up to doing something with that whole beer thing. And when Crate came along a few months ago with a couple of music themed beers, I was like, aha! I know what I can do. I have a series that's allegedly loosely musically themed, but I can do whatever the hell I like with it. Let's talk about beer! This beer is comfortably numb. It is brewed by Bad Company. Although I feel like this is not the first beer I've come across called comfortably numb. And the other one in the crate was Dazed and Confused, which I've definitely seen from another brewery before. Not to stereotype, or again imply that the hobby is uh, in any way isolated or exclusive, but you know, maybe there's some sort of crossover between people who have an interest in classic rock and people who have an interest in real ale. Except me, I fucking hate classic rock. But I do quite like Pink Floyd, and Comfortably Numb is actually quite good to do for this video because I don't feel like I have a huge amount to say about the song uh, itself. I mean, I do like it. Um, it's one of only two songs on the wall that I actually think are any good whatsoever. It's one of those albums that I've held on to for years because every time I think, oh, I never really listened to this, I don't really like any of the songs, I should get rid of it. I have another listen and I go, actually it's quite a good story. It's one of those albums that actually succeeds better as a work of fiction than as a work of music. I love Goodbye Blue Sky and I love Comfortably Numb and I have no time for any of the other songs on it. So actually it was quite nice to have this beer come along and remind me that there are a couple of songs that I really love off it because I haven't listened to Comfortably Numb for good few years. Yeah, that's all I really have to say about the song. Let's see what we can come up with to say about the beer. It's quite fruity and refreshing. Good, good pick for this summer day. This beer is described as dry, hot and fruity. Yeah, with kicks of mango, tangerine, grapefruit and pineapple that come through in waves. Because that's a reference to the lyrics of the song, ladies and gentlemen. Very clever. For a session ale, this beer punches well above its weight and will have you saying, I have become, brackets, a fan of, close brackets, comfortably numb. So, slight confession here, part of the reason why I wanted to do a series about beer is just so I can make fun of, slash, come up with my own pretentious beer descriptions. Yeah, the coming through in waves is complete bullshit. It does say some mango tangerine... I can get the grapefruit, not really so much the pineapple. But it's definitely got a good fruitiness to it, but it doesn't come through in waves, it just tastes of that. I would recommend this beer to a friend. I think this is definitely a buy. It's pretty good, it's nice and refreshing. If you do see this in your local supermarket, you can be assured of a beer that's quite refreshing during the summer. Not too bitter and hoppy, just a very pleasant drink. Hmm, good job, bad company. That is a good bit. And remember, be careful with that beer, Eugene! Pink Floyd reference. Beer-fueled Pink Floyd reference. Oh god, what have I done? Bye!